It's Canelo Fight Week. We made it, y'all. You know it's magic in the air when it involves boxing and Canelo Alvarez. So anyways, roll that beautiful bean footage. Hey, here it comes. Hey, what's up with it fam? It's Hot Boxing Minute, your favorite pharmaceutical engineer turned boxing analyst. Back at you with the realness as only I can bring it because I'm real like that and y'all already know. It's Canelo Alvarez Fight Week. This weekend at the T-Mobile Arena out there in Las Vegas, Canelo Alvarez will be stepping up to the plate at the 175 pound weight limit to test the WBA champion, Dimitri Bivo. And I like this matchup, y'all. Listen, critics be damned. The one thing I've noticed when you bring up Canelo Alvarez, it don't matter what you say or do. It doesn't matter what you say or do. People are either going to hate you for it or they're going to love you for it. Listen, y'all, I make all kind of boxing content. I, I'm pro boxers. I'm pro boxing, period. Nothing incites more madness than the Canelo fight week. I can make videos about Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis, the Charlos, Tyson Fury, anybody. But as soon as I start making content about Canelo Alvarez, all hell breaks loose. All kind of accusations break loose about bias and being a fanboy. It's ridiculous, y'all. Welcome to Canelo Fight Week. What do you say? How does one deal with the madness of it all? Folks, I don't drag any fighter. I don't drag fighters. If you follow my content, I'm like the constant optimist. I'm always going to support fighters. I never drag a fighter. I never really do. I don't. This is not in my nature. For the simple fact that I am not a Canelo hater, there's an entire section of boxing in the boxing community and fans that hate my guts. It is amazing. But anyways, this weekend, Dimitri Bivol and Canelo Alvarez are going to be fighting at the 175 pound weight limit. For those of you that don't know, this means that Canelo's undisputed straps at 168 are not up for grabs. Canelo can lose this fight and he will still be the undisputed 168 pound super middleweight champion of the world. This fight is only going to have that 175 pound light heavyweight WBA strap on the line. The one that Dimitri Bivol holds. And I think a lot of people are really underwriting just how dangerous Bivol is as an opponent. Look, y'all. Obviously, I favor Canelo because I think most people do because he's given us magic up until this point in his career. What is Canelo? 57 and 1. He has only lost to the best in all time, Floyd Mayweather Jr. He's 57 and 1. The man has fought... In the last of his 13 fights, 10 of them were champions. The man's resume is impeccable. Regardless of what the critics think, I am not worried about the critics because trust me, they don't make the boxing world move. But Dimitri Bivol is not one to be written off. Folks, do not make the mistake of underwriting... <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, y'all. Mm. Anyways, do not make the mistake of being... Goodness. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. I got a bit of a sinus infection. Anyways, don't make the mistake of dismissing Dimitri Bivol. Now, we all know that Canelo Alvarez doesn't throw a lot of punches per round. I think he's at about 21 punches around, and he's a slow starter. And then we got Dimitri Bivol. He's got one of the best jabs in the game, as good if not better than Triple G's. He can fight on the front foot, fight on the back foot. He can move laterally. He's got great footwork, and he's got one of the best defensive ratings outside of Shakur Stevens. And actually... His defensive efficiency is slightly better than Shakur's. Only 12.5% of opponent's shots land on Dimitri Bivol. For Shakur, it's 13.9. Think about that. Think about that. Now, does that mean that Dimitri Bivol is going to put a halt to Canelo's offense? No, because Canelo is far too experienced, and clearly Canelo has power shots. So, so essentially what you have is Canelo Alvarez, in this competition between Canelo Alvarez and Dimitri Bivol, what you have is Canelo, who has his craft, he's got his veteranship, he's got his experience, he's got a lot of power, and obviously he's got his ability to faint and put in body work, and then you've got a very technically sound Dimitri Bivol with a deep amateur pedigree that has a disciplined jab, great footwork, and extraordinarily sound defensive skills. It's going to be an interesting fight. Don't dismiss what Dimitri Bivol brings to the table. Dimitri Bivol has defended his WBA, WBA, WBA belt a number of times. He's beaten Eliade Alvarez. He's beaten Joe Smith Jr. He's beaten every challenger. Let, let me check how many consecutive title defenses he has because you really have to respect that kind of craft. Hold on. Oh, goodness. He has had it for a while. How many is it? It's a lot. Hold on. Let's see. Dimitri Bivol. 
And um, let me see if I can count up his title defenses. Dimitri Bivol, up until this point, has had, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it was the regular. Is it retained? Is it seven title defenses? Out here on the Wikipedia page, it's showing regular and super. Whatever. He has been defending this WBA strap for years. And no, he's not a finisher. If there's one thing Canelo Alvarez has an advantage over Dimitri Bivol is that Canelo Alvarez is obviously, he's a killer. He's a finisher. He's going to finish the fight if he senses weakness in the water. But regardless, I would not be surprised at all if this fight goes the distance. I really wouldn't be surprised if this fight goes the distance. If somebody were to ask and say, Hot Boxing Minute, what's your prediction? I think that this fight between Canelo Alvarez and Dimitri Bivol goes the whole distance and it goes in favor of Canelo in a decision and it's highly controversial with a lot of people upset about that decision. That's kind of what I envision happening. I don't see Dimitri Bivol making a defensive slip and allowing himself to be knocked out. But with that said, once you take those kind of body shots, the kind of body shots that Canelo is known to give on people, it slows you down. And maybe he can get Dimitri Bivol to slow down enough to land one of those nasty concussive shots that stopped guys like <coughs> Caleb Plant and Billy Joe Sanders. So, that's where I'm at, y'all. Not even going to be a long video. I think Canelo Alvarez wins by a 12-round, probably unanimous decision. Would not be shocked if it was a split decision. And I do think Dimitri Bivol weathers the storm and lasts all 12 rounds. Anyways, how do you folks see this fight between Dimitri Bivol and Canelo Alvarez playing out? Let me know in the comments section. Hit follow if you haven't already done so. Leave a comment, press like. You guys already know the routine. Thank you for joining me on this episode, y'all. This is Hot Boxing Minute. Until the next time I see you guys, peace out, one love. Until the next fight week, y'all know the deal.